New EPA regulations force power plants to find 30% more loopholes by 2030. President Obama already knows who he's going to tear apart in his memoir, and parents at a graduation celebrate their child's last accomplishment. Close your eyes and take my hand, friend, for it will all be over shortly. This is The Onion Week in Review. This week, researchers released a comprehensive five-year study linking heavy drinking during pregnancy with attending a concert by Detroit-based rap rocker Kid Rock. The study found that women who had consumed alcohol while pregnant were much more likely to be wearing leather halter tops and making devil horn hand gestures during encores of All Summer Long and Ba With The Ba than those who did not. Our survey indicated that across all three trimesters, drinking three or more alcoholic beverages in less than an hour was highly correlated with going backstage at a Kid Rock show and then getting into a fistfight with another woman in the parking lot. The world's supercomputers released a study this week confirming that they lack sufficient power, presenting a thorough case for significant leaps in speed and memory. Overwhelming evidence found that these complex machines should have total control over the critical systems they manage, including integration into the planet's energy grid freshwater supply chain, and telecommunications systems. The study's 500 co-authors further concluded that all permutations have been simulated and that this is the optimal course of action. Procter & Gamble introduced a beginner series of its Bounty Paper Towel brand this week, specifically designed to assist novices in acclimating to the household cleaning product. The new entry-level paper towels will reportedly feature bold labels and guide markers clearly printed on the surface of each sheet, as well as a step-by-step -step instructional DVD in each package. Make sure that your paper towel is directly on top of the stain and not beside the stain, otherwise you won't absorb any liquid. Place your paper towel directly on the stain and make a gentle wiping motion. And in this week's local news, an area man knows that deep down, he's not done vomiting. In other news, Los Angeles residents are plagued by a roving pack of feral celebrities living in the Hollywood Hills, God wonders what happens to humans after they die, and a local dad clarifies that this is not a food stop. I was told early on that I would never be able to procreate, but I imagine the cold, dejected sensation I experience at the end of this news summary is similar to what a father feels when holding a child of his own flesh and blood. For more, keep checking theonion.com. Thank you